uh, now we are going to see about the data sources and different types of data sources available and the business content so now we are uh, uh, we are we are going to see in detail about uh, business content and uh, other extractors available there are three types of extractors available business content and customer generated uh, data sources and uh, cross application extractors so uh, what is data source data source is a structure uh, which uh, i mean which is logically grouped together and uh, uh, which uh, which has the uh, information uh, of uh, ettl process and uh, uh, all data sources have uh, extractor the st extract structure in in order to extract the data and uh, uh, so there are normally two types of data sources when uh, i mean uh, and uh, there is uh, application specific and uh, cross application so what application specific means is uh, sap delivered uh, data sources and the cross application means is uh, the data sources which we create uh, user created data sources it means we do generic data sources there are four types of generic data sources uh, database data sources we create with uh, database tables and uh, there are data sources which we create with database views info set queries and function modules so in application specific uh, uh, we have a bi content and customer generated data sources fisl and uh, scopa are customer generated uh, data sources and uh, uh, for these two we will discuss uh, how to create these data sources and uh, uh, it is uh, more like uh, I mean uh, uh, SAP has provided the fields and we have to select the fields and we have to activate the data source and then we have to we have to uh, create the uh, all the objects in uh, BA so that uh, as the I mean so that we can uh, replicate the data source and we can uh, load the data to that so in uh, in uh, BI content, we have uh, FI, CO, HR, LO, cockpit. All these modules, there, which are present in BI content, we'll see that in uh, ECC. So here you will see there is a SAP R3 which has uh, all the modules here, most of the modules we would look for like you know you can see accounting and uh, controlling this controlling data sources in controlling we have COPA uh, we have to generate this COPA data sources sometimes it can be uh, zero COPA uh, I mean uh, for yearly 2001, 2002, 2003, because there's a lot of data in uh, COPA, so we have to generate sometimes yearly data sources. So that is COPA, and uh, here we have FI finance module. In finance, there is a financial accounting, I mean, asset accounting, and uh, accounts payable accounts receivable general ledger so these are the mainly used uh, i mean uh, special purpose ledger is uh, again uh, this is for the customer generated data sources we have here and just like copa and here uh, generally we do business content uh, fiaa fiap fiar and figl it means uh, asset accounting accounts payable accounts receivable and uh, general ledger these are the four modules we have in uh, uh, fi and uh, in generally uh, general ledgers are uh, coupled ones i mean uh, data sources for example fi gl4 is coupled with uh, fi ar4 and uh, FIAP4 
four. So this is, this is a coupled extraction, and uh, you know in uh, in FI you have a timestamp field, and uh, the timestamp field has uh, I mean uh, uh, timestamp means uh, fifteen uh, fifteen field which has a uh, mm, and our minute and second so this long fields you have in uh, i mean uh, for the i mean accuracy of delta extraction in fi in few i mean database tables it is present so uh, here uh, accounts uh, i mean uh, this, uh, so these data sources are coupled with uh, accounts receivable and accounts payable and uh, these are the ones which we have the queries for uh, I mean quarterly and uh, hourly queries so we will see general ledgers according to that and line items line items means uh, all the details of the uh, data and uh, so the, those will be the normal reports on FI and uh, when you go to the LO we have uh, I mean a lot of uh, options in LO for example uh, this is the master data for the LO there is a code called uh, LBWE which we will be discussing later So this is called hello customizing cockpit in this cockpit we have uh, different uh, data sources extractors so uh, we need to maintain such extractors you can see so they have a, a, I mean uh, they need a special uh, settings to install and uh, I mean for the initialization I mean for for the first upload and then from the delta you can uh, uh, keep it in a process change so uh, in, 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 it will take some special attention we will I will show you what are the things we can do uh, we have to do in a low cockpit you can see the 11 code is for HD and uh, 0 03 is for inventory like that 0 02 is for purchasing like that uh, there are i mean i will show you i will discuss them in detail when we come to this so this is hello cockpit here uh, We have all the data sources, inventory and purchasing in MM. So uh, when you, this is the business content, both uh, as we were discussing, both FICO, HR, modules like and uh, LO cockpit also belongs to business content. And uh, they need to be activated in the ECC RSA 5 and then uh, you have to replicate the data sources to in the BI system and then you have to install the objects in uh, uh, business content so generally in this process what will happen is uh, you have a, a, a customer version and the SAP delivered version generally uh, when you uh, when you when the SAP delivers the ob objects it will deliver in D version which is a delivered version and you have in order to uh, in order to be able to work with them you have to activate them and uh, it will the then uh, the status will change it change to a version and uh, that is called active version and uh, I mean uh, the changes are saved in M version which is called modified version so these are the three versions we have SAP delivers the business content in D version we activate it to work with it uh, and uh, we activate it and it will change it to a version
active version what is business content business content is a complete set of w objects developed by sap and it is pre which has uh, workbooks uh, queries and uh, data sources and uh, source systems everything so how to install business content normally we have a transaction code for i mean normally we have a, a, a separate uh, tab for the business content you can see in uh, when you go to the modeling rsa1 you have a separate tab called pi content click on the tab and uh, you will be in the screen in the screen you have three views i mean uh, the window is divided into three portions so here you can see in uh, i mean in the left hand side you have uh, different views of the uh, of the of this middle window so if you click this there will be a view will change so like that you have to click on object types so it is for the views here so we have clicked on object types here and the view has changed to complete a set of objects so here you have a middle window where you you will get all the objects for example you have info cube and uh, in for example you have uh, info cubes and you have to drop them here so it is ready for the installation here in the right hand pane so that that is the i mean that is the use of uh, middle window and uh, a, and the right hand part of the window you have uh, installation um, and this is where installation happens and uh, you have different type tabs here different uh, options here we will discuss everything about uh, them in detail so this is you can see this data source this uh, info cube is uh, active i mean uh, it is in active version you will see uh, there are three types one is uh, for the modified version and uh, one is for the delivered version so there will be uh, so there will be what is the voice which is coming it is very different so we will discuss in uh, sequence so when do you normally install business content you install in two occasions after the content release upgrade and after installing a, a content support package so these are the two occasions when you install business content so here in grouping there is a option called grouping here you can see there is only necessary objects in data flow before in data flow afterwards in data flow before and afterwards there are four options in the grouping when you select the i mean the only necessary objects means you can see the only only objects you selected are available there and uh, when you select the in data flow before it means the objects which are uh, under the data flow i mean uh, below the info queue will be uh, added automatically by the system for example you have uh, selected the annual values info queue for that you will get all the transformations dtps and uh, data sources info objects info object cat 